Okay, welcome to Terra no, a game where we are going to restore the planet. Um, yeah. This book says what we can do to restore the planet, and it's a little introduction to the game. Uh, we're not going to bother too much with that, because it's very self-explanatory. Um, and we want to restore biodiversity and balance to the environment. Uh, we'll just take the middle one, start resources, and that'll be it. Okay. It really wants to tell us some stuff. There we go, we're learning controls. Zoom in, zoom out. Place a little turbine. Wants us to place four of these bad boys. And then... Oh wow, that took a while for the game to catch on what I was doing here. I'm not sure if that's a problem with the game or just a me problem. Probably just a me problem. Um, is the last of our irrigators. And there we go. Nice. Operating the girl is 24%, so the map will probably grow here. Okay. Yes. I am used to what are you expecting of me now, game? Hello? I feel like the map should be growing. Ah, there we go. I just needed a little more spreading. Here we go, we get a whole game. Get a nice little view. And this is the map we're dealing with. Um, to be fair, I did start game earlier, and uh, the map was different, so we might be getting completely different playthroughs every time we play this game, which is very nice. That would be extremely fun. Horrible for speedrunners, but hey, we're just here to have a little bit of a relaxing time. And we can put a water pump. Hello? I know loud. Is it not working? Thing? Why is it not doing the thing? Oh, this works. Ooh, look at it go. Very nice. Um. Okay, there's a little hole in here. It's so hard to see. Nice. Um, I guess we want to plop one down here-ish. And put another water pump somewhere. There we go. One. Let's fill the hole. That whole place up. We're already quite far. Um, we do need to crystallize some of the greenery. For more rock. Just so we can keep going with the river. There we go. Plop one of these over here. We decorated a lot of rock. Then we can put another pump and I think that's the river about restored. Oh, just a little bit left. Okay, let's grab that. There we go. There you go, already at the uh, 67%. Very nice. I think if we now lob down just a few of these. Right at the edges here. And just cover the whole place. 
That should just bring us very close to the percentage we need. I think the last one here should be a no, not nearly. Okay, I lied. We're not close. But we should be able to get somewhere. That's pretty small, but we'll take it. Just trying to squeeze those last few percentages out. See where this brings us. 92. 96. Wait, can do better than that. There we go. Eight. Now, I do want this place covered in green. Because I have played before, so I know a little bit about the animals we can get later on. Um, okay, now we have to um, increase the biodiversity by growing plants, fin boss, wetlands, and forest. And we need to begin paying attention to the local climate. Okay, let's start on that. Uh, we need to create wetlands. So, irrigators near water and on low ground. Don't think we have any irrigators that would work. Oh, this one works, surprisingly. Um, anyone else nearby water? Not really. Uh, we are going to need more then. We also need... Um, trees. Good. Could work with something here. Although I would like just a tad more green. Let's place these here. We can just slap a straight one here. I think that will create sufficient. Uh, over here as well. Trying to get the most out of it. There we go. And now we want to slam this over here. Which should create a nice fin boss. Let's do the same over here. I think if we get one more nice one like that, we're pretty much good. I don't know if this will fill it up completely, but we'll try. There we go. Nice. Um, yeah, focusing sunlight kind of sucks. It does burn quite a bit. Um, but we do need it. So, let's go here. Oh, we need Finn boss. Oh, well, luckily, we can do that right here now. Here we go. Everything's gonna burn on this bit. It burns everything. That is incredible. That almost completely filled our forest requirement. See, here we go. I think we can fiddle around now a little bit. Ooh, for creation of wetland tiles. Go here. Get our hydroponium going. Let's see where else we can put one. Does that work over here? Oh, wait, it does work, but it's not connected to anything? I thought it What? I'm confused. There we go, and now we get a research center. Okay, 
let's do that. Plop that down. Uh, you need to begin the address, the regional climate. Okay. Uh, the climate is defined by these attributes. Right now we are only interested in humidity, but these will change in the future. Okay. Seeing certain thresholds of attributes will have broad effects environment. Okay. So we need to have Salmon run, rain begins when we have more than 70%. Humidity. Okay, let's just start. Buildings that grow plants like the irregular beehive are also affected by regional climate attributes. Okay. Okay. Many buildings modify the climate slightly, but some, like this clouds here, changes significantly. Cultivating the right climate is an important step in your accumulation journey. Good luck. Okay, let's go to the Cloud Seeder. Use surrounding water and ocean to encourage cloud formation and increase ambient humidity. Okay. That's 9%. Plus 3%. That's not a lot. We can do better. Plus six percent. Ah. Oh. Under six percent. I don't think we can do better than this. Oh, no, no, no. We can do better than this. Interesting. And now we're kind kind of done. I think we're kind of done. Oh, and now it's raining and everything becomes green, which does mean it might be a little easier to create more wetland now. Let's just keep that going for a second, just so everything gets a chance to completely become green. Which is very nice that it also gives you more leaves to work with. Okay. Let's blob down one of these bad boys. And then, wait just a second more. Oh no, I think it will work if we just place it down now. There we go. We had an ideal hydroponium. Okay. With plant life and climate re-established, the final step is to construct an airship by recycling your buildings as you remove your presence. Introduce Fauna to be the new custodians of this ecosystem. Okay, well, let's start recycling. We have a few buildings for this, but first we need to build an airship, which uh, is a massive construct. Let's pop that down here. Try to be a little... A little effective. Let's get our little boat going. Going. Oh, um. Let's grab these two. Reach. Oh, it's one tile off. That is a shame. Because it does mean we'll have to use one of the excavator boys. best do this I think like this and that should get me close enough Let's see okay that'll grab everything or should grab everything rather always be a little careful with what I say 
Sometimes games just decide, nope, we're not doing this today. I think if I plop it here, this one will still be able to reach. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to extend up in here. We need it around here, actually. I think if we... God damn it! It recycled it! Instantly. It was way too happy about recycling, I think. If we do this... It will get quite a ways. And I think we are still going to need more. Um, let's see. The puzzle keeps going. Uh, we do need that gone, so we need to be like carrying a recycle bin here. But I don't want the windmill yet. But I think my recycle bin is now in the way of everything. Ah. We'll figure this out, we'll figure this out. I think all of that is fine to be picked up. So is this... This... This and this. Anything else we can already grab? Yes. And we can get in here and... All of that up, so if we go here, might be just about right. Yes, very good. And now we just need to grab these. Build one final laser here. No, not, a, not that, I need a recycle bin. And I like it still. Then all we need is... Hello? Hello? Please, I'd like to place this. I'm not loud. Oh no. No. Yeah. Please don't do this to me. Oh, that's so sad. Hmm. Can the boat get here? Oh boy. How do I fix this? This is quite annoying. Um, and very much unforeseen. Uh, let's, let's get another laser then. I mean, as long as I can place at least one of those watery things... I, I could place it. Okay, now we should be able to get everything. Which is a little annoying that that didn't do the thing I wanted it to do, but hey. What can you do about it? Uh, now let's place a lot of sluice here. Or our pound lock while you guys to call it. And, and that should be it. Okay. Alright, we also need to build one of these bad boys. The final step is to replace cycling progresses is the reintroduction of animals. New animal species will help maintain the ecosystem long after your buildings are packed away. And we need one out of three. So let's go scanning for these. Animal species need to be scanned for. Open the scanning panel here. Use these animal portraits to switch between animals and get a hint about where each species lives. Use this button to select for the select species. Each can will give you information about the suitable the suitability of the area scanned. You'll need to find suitable habitats for at least three animal species. Good luck. Okay, let's go here. And we just straight up found deer. Now these are froggies, you can see by the little portrait, so they'll probably be in wetlands like this. 
But we need something else. Okay, so we need so we need both. So this should work for frogs. There we go. Now the next we have this. So we need forest. I'm I think I have a clue as to what it is. Yeah, and I think the last requirement is for it to be up a hill. But we can't get this because we don't have a forest up a hill. We could theoretically get it, but then we'd have to build more and like, like get a forest here. I don't really feel like doing that. So let's scan for uh, our waterfowl, and I think we need a lake for that. And I'm not sure what we met in a lake. Okay, I don't know what it considers a lake. Um. Okay, that was a lake. Apparently, this is a lake. But that's that's what I'm think it's a little iffy about. Sometimes, uh, let's see what else can we get. We need forest. Does it need water? Um, this should be good. In the range of a river. This? No, wait, in range. So just this? Wait, I'm so confused. Is it this? Oh, yeah, beavers. Nice. Wait, I can't even see them. Where are they? Little beaver boys. Hit them. So sad. Uh, and then this. In range of 15 forest tiles and probably... Yeah, in range of group of deer. We don't have that. But we could, like, go here for, like, more deer, maybe? There we go. And then we can just do this and that should work for timber wolves. Nice. So the only thing we couldn't get is this, but that's fine. So uh, let's recycle our final building and then we're done. There we go. It's looking very jazzy. Well, let's press the big red button. Normally a bad button, but I think this time it's a good one. Look at the little place we created. Very cozy. We have some deer that are completely safe from the timber wolves for now. We have some frogs, we have beavers. Yeah, looking good, looking good. We didn't quite get the salmon. But uh, I don't think we could have done well, I think we could have done it after the end when we created this extra bit of river here. But uh, yeah. Let's continue. Then I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll continue to rebuild the planet with the next time. In any case, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.